Jane Jacobs was an activist who was passionate and dedicated to people. She fought to make sure that neighborhoods in New York City were designed to reflect the will and character of the people in the community. Her work inspired a movement that lives on today. She helped to change the way Americans think, plan, and move around urban cities. Today, we're going from the east end of Bridgeport into downtown to show how art and civic engagement are connected. Lorraine Farrar James' story begins right here on the east end of Bridgeport. She was born on June 9th, 1926. But perhaps what Lorraine was most famous for was her organizing around what came to be known as Mount Trashmore, which is not too far from here. And it was her work that set off an environmental justice movement here in Bridgeport like we've never seen before. Mount Trashmore existed right here from the late 80s to 1993. The campaign to remove what was approximately a three acre and 35 foot pile of construction debris and waste was led by Lorraine's determination to clean up the illegal dumping site. That campaign also brought Jesse Jackson to Bridgeport where he called on local elected officials to clean up this site. Hi, good afternoon. This place kind of brings together um, a historical interest and family interest. My grandmother, Lorraine's mom, came to Bridgeport from Virginia with her parents uh, back at the very end of the 19th century and they lived over there, which is kind of a side street to where we are standing now. So they the Mary and Eliza Freeman homes have been something that our family has been aware of for a very long time. Lorraine was the sixth child of a seven child family. She was kind of a revolutionary person. Um, she was inspired by a lot that the family did and was a repository for a lot of the family history. But she also was very, very grounded in the present community and looked toward environmental justice and justice on all fronts for our community and for our kids, especially very, very interested and involved in education here in Bridgeport as well. I think as a person of color, it's important to speak about things that are happening in the world, in your community, in society, how you can make change. It's awesome to have the privilege to envision change and share what that looks like with people, whether it's through poetry or paint, and preserving historical spaces like the Freeman Center um, is doing is so inclusive of that because it's gonna be a space for art and it's gonna be a space to know where we came from, what history we have, especially in Bridgeport. These people were entrepreneurs, all artists are entrepreneurs, and it develops our city in ways that I think we don't even anticipate. Um, it's gonna bring people here and give attention to artists here who deserve it, but it's also gonna give kids and students and community members and leaders inspiration because they see all the great stuff that happened then can still happen now. Come on in. Hello, welcome. You're at the Collab Exchange. The Collab Exchange is a professional retail and entrepreneur incubator and it's made for the residents of Bridgeport and of course the residents of Connecticut. I feel that we all need a space where we can plan, organize, strategize, and then create a strategy of how we're gonna move forward to create our wealth. And that's what we're doing here. It's just giving people a place to create their businesses, develop themselves as professionals, and then leverage that in the real world. And we're excited to be able to have it. It's pretty awesome. 
Groundwork Bridgeport is a local uh, nonprofit based here in the city of Bridgeport. We are fortunate enough to be located in a historic arcade mall on the second floor, one of the first indoor shopping malls in all of the U.S. We predominantly work with youth and involve them in different activities. One of those projects was actually here at Peacock Alley where we were able to bring about this ground mural um, that turned a space that people didn't really think too much about, just kind of walked along, into a space that is, has color, dimension, and has really turned it into a place that people recognize and utilize in different ways, from photo shoots to uh, kids actually utilizing it as a place to play. Hello Bridgeport people, my name is Aideen Evans and I am your City Council President. We're here today right in front of our City Council Chambers where the people's work is done every day by our elected officials, our 20 member body of the City Council. We work together in committees to make sure that we pass legislation that is fruitful for the city to try and bring in economic development, address social issues, and also try and keep our city running alongside the mayor. And this is also where Lorraine Farrar James used to sit right in this chamber doing her work on behalf of the city and fighting for the injustices in our community. So please be a part of our city, please be a part of our community, and thank you. It's another day, it's another photo shoot on the Painted Stairs. <laughs> See you guys. My name is Liz Squalache. I'm an artist in Bridgeport and owner of Paradox Inc. In 2017, I painted this stairway with Bridgeport Generation Now, and in 2019, we added an addition at the top of 12 more stairs. The painted stairway of the Broad Street Steps represents a DNA strand, a double helix, representing the people of Bridgeport, our common humanity, and diversity, um, collaboration, coming together, and unity. Um, a lot of people enjoy the painted stairway and take videos in front of it and pictures and I've seen weddings in front of it and even a socially distanced birthday party. And once the steps were painted, it just became a really enlivened part of Bridgeport that the community enjoys. We are now downtown in the heart of the city at McCleavy Green, where art and activism often collide and the community comes together to celebrate, to buy fruits and vegetables. Today there is a farmer's market out here and we are surrounded by businesses. There's a comedy club here, there's a pool hall here, the bank is across the street, there is a co-working space here. There's so much to do downtown. Thank you for joining us today on this walk in community conversation. A special thank you to our guest speakers who actually took the time to tell us all about the amazing locations we visited. I also wanna say a special thank you to both Jane and Lorraine for the hard work that they did in the community, their dedication to changing things for the better. I hope you enjoyed the art and everything you saw on this walk today. Let's keep growing together. <laughs>